Hey guys, how you doing? So as you may or may not know, I recently went to Malta. If you'd like to see the vlog that I made, I'll link it down in the description box below. But anyway, I went to Malta and that means I had to go to an airport, so I was at Gatwick. And when I'm at Gatwick, that equals then duty free shopping. So I've picked up lots of beauty bits, well actually they're all makeup. So um, let me empty this bag and share all the things I picked up. So. As you well know, duty free is great because I think you get like 20% off, you don't pay VAT, so you get, basically get 20% off the normal um, cost of product. So I went slightly crazy at MAC, picked up loads of things from MAC and picked up something from Clarins that I wanted to try for a very long, long time. So the first thing I picked up from duty free um, was this MAC foundation and it's MAC Studio Sculpt SPF 15 foundation and I have the shade NC37. This is what it looks like, so it's a little plastic tube and this is a kind of recent discovery for me, so I have a MAC um, store relatively near the place that I work and I often go in there after work if I've caught the late, if I'm going to catch the later train and I'm like, oh can I try this, a sample of this and that. Anyway, so I explained to the MUA, the makeup artist, that I suffer from normal to dry skin, particularly now in the autumn and winter time, it gets a little bit dry and it needs a little bit more hydrating and foundations can get a little bit tricky. Anyway, she, she suggested that I try a sample of the Studio Sculpt Foundation I did and I absolutely loved it. I've not really been a big lover of MAC foundations but I must say that when I tried this on it was just absolutely gorgeous. So it's a gel formulation which is really nice for people who suffer from dry skin so I definitely say this is for people who, suffer, who have, not suffer with, who have dry skin um, because of the gel formulation. It goes on really nicely, you only need a small amount, so like a pea size amount goes a really long way because I would say it's very much a medium to full coverage foundation and I like it when I want a flawless kind of look, so if I'm going out for the evening and I want a flawless face, this is something that I'll reach for. So I'm really chuffed to bits to get this in the duty free and it was a really nice little saving. I'm a bit into concealers at the moment, so I wanted to try something new and I picked up MAC Mineralized Concealer. I have the shade NW25, so even though I'm an NC37 in this, I go for an NW in the concealer because it has the kind of pinkish undertones which helps to um, cancel out the blue and grey tones underneath the eyes. So this is what the concealer looks like. It comes in a little little tube with a with an applicator just there and you only just need a very little bit and what I like to do with concealer, I know a lot a lot of um, makeup artists take the concealer right underneath the eye but for myself personally I just use, like using it on the inner corners and just using my fingers to melt the product into, into this area here where I'm most dark. I don't really have darkness here, I have darkness just underneath my eyes in the tear ducts just here and I find that if I take the concealer all the way round to this sort of um, side of my eye that it, then it tends to kind of cake and crease into the fine lines and things like that so if you're suffering from that maybe try using your concealer just on the inner corner and then using just your foundation because your foundation is going to hopefully be a lighter texture than the concealer not as thick um, try, try and use it around here instead of a concealer and you might notice a difference um, that's how I like to apply my concealer obviously it's a personal choice but that's the way I like to use it and then I find that it doesn't cake and get stuck in fine lines and just look a bit uh, crunchy at the end of the day. I'm a big fan of MAC blushes, I think they've got great pigments and also I love the mineralised blushes because they've got a lovely shimmer to them and they really make your, your skin seem very alive and just really healthy. So I've picked up another mineralised blush in Lovejoy, now this one I bought specifically for autumn time because it's quite a dark coloured blush so actually before I show you the blush look they've I think MAC have got new blush packaging so the normal ones look like let me work one out from behind me they look like this and um, the newer ones have more have less of a plastic kind of screen um, so no, new packaging I think or maybe it's the duty free ones I don't know do you know? If you do, leave me a comment down below. So this is Lovejoy, and I would describe this as kind of deeper than Warm Soul, and it's caught kind of like a do dirty, dirty, a dirty rose gold. It's so so pretty on, and it looks quite dark and scary. But on the cheeks, you only need a little bit, and it really does give you a gorgeous glow. So I'm really looking forward to using this in my makeup routine. 
Okay, and onto the lipsticks, the most exciting part of the haul. I do love Max Cream Sheen lipsticks. They're so nicely pigmented and they're really creamy and moisturising. I really do love them. I think when I first started buying MAC lipsticks, I bought a lot of mattes and they, even though they're very lovely and bold and they make a, a you know a beautiful statement, they can be quite drying. But since then I've explored into the cream sheens and I've got to say I absolutely adore them. So the first one that I picked up is Modesty and I have been wearing this non-stop. It's a pinky brown and it's MLBB, my lips but better and I've been wearing this non-stop. It's so so gorgeous and I think it's going to be really seasonal appropriate for autumn winter time and it's just a really gorgeous nude. If you haven't tried this I definitely recommend that you go and check it out next time you're at the MAC counter. And then the next nude that I picked up was another cream sheen and this one is Pure Zen. Now I know loads of bloggers rave about this. It's a gorgeous peachy nude colour and again it's another MLBB for me. I've tried um, I tried out Shy Girl and Creme de Cup and things like that but I creme de nude even um, and I found that they kind of look like concealer on my lips just for my particular skin tone they didn't suit me so I have to go for slightly deeper nudes, deeper toned nudes and I found that Modesty and Pure Zen best suited me and the last MAC lipstick that I picked up is the iconic, the gorgeous, the beautiful Ruby Woo so Ruby Woo is not part of my collection, <gasps> shock horror how did that happen I picked up two, one for me and one for my um, friend Sharon for, as her birthday present and this is what it looks like, it's a gorgeous deep red and I think this is going to be a universally flattering red lipstick. This to me looks like a true red, so I'm really looking forward to using this and I think this will look phenomenal on, not just for a night out, but just with like um, a lick of mascara and just this on the lips. It's just going to look phenomenal, such a, a wearable red. And the last thing that I picked up from the Duty Free was the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfector. Now I've been wanting to try these for yonks, but I just wasn't able to justify the splurge of spending, I think like 18 or 19 pounds each individually and I just didn't feel like I can justify that because it's kind of what I perceive it to be a moisturizing gloss and you know if I'm going to spend that kind of money on a lipstick I, I want it to be something that's going to pay off in terms of colour so sorry I'm just ripping this off this was actually at the checkout so I picked up all the things that I wanted to buy and then I saw this and I was like uh oh <laughs> it's a duo and it was like I think it was 24 pounds and then um, I had a £5 off voucher, they were giving them out at Gatwick. So if you're flying out from Gatwick anytime soon, there's a guy standing walking in front of the duty free um, and he's giving you a £5 voucher if you spent a certain amount. So if you get to see him, I would like, you know, grab, grab him and, and take as many vouchers as you can off him. Okay, so I haven't opened these before. Oh, so there's two further boxes. They look rather nice, don't they? And um, the colours that I got were the peach one, um, it doesn't have the name here, hold on a second. Oh okay, the names are on the tops of the boxes, so I've got Rose Shimmer which is number one. Hoo ha hoo ha, there's paper and everything around these. Um, that's the one I really really wanted to try, so I think it's a slightly miniature version, I'm not sure. And then I also have number two which is Apricot Shimmer, come on out of the packet which I think is going to be more of a peachy um, gloss so these are going to be really nice for um, the weather now where my lips do tend to get drier during the colder months and I really like this packaging actually apart aside from the different color differentiations because of the different color of the glosses I kind of like the gold um, tube tops as well they're quite cute okay guys I hope you enjoyed this duty free haul picked up lots of makeup bits I'll be sure to upload um, blog posts and reviews of them on samloves.com thanks so much for watching have a wonderful day week whatever you're up to and I will see you very very soon take care love you lots bye